Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before 4 Diesel. We've got another, well, new product that's just being launched. Uh, you can find it on Kickstarter. They sent me one of these to, uh, you know, use, test, evaluate, provide feedback for them or me or you or whatever the case may be. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and make this video short. Just remember, it's a new product. I'm a new operator, so I'm not good at it. So this is what you're going to be faced with when, when you first if you get yourself one of these. Apparently introductory price around just under $60 AUDs, which is pretty good for a, like it says, battery charger and tester, okay? It, it's my understanding it can also be used as a power supply. So first thing I noticed was it does look very good quality, the finish of the product and everything. The ends where the decent thickness wires and with the ends where the wires come out, you've got that uh, protection there. You know, for you know when the wires bend and they break away once things get older, if you use them a lot, that sort of thing. So there's an app for that. So that's what we've done. We've got it all connected. So good quality wiring. At the moment, it just comes with a plug with the two flat pins. We've just got it plugged in using an adapter there. You know, they're readily available, but you will need an adapter for it until if the plug changes for Australia. And um, again, we'll just follow this wire. Excuse all my junk, but I just want to show you. So you've got this little adapter plug here. Um, that you can plug in but the wires really good quality um, alligator clips and the size of the wires up to there it's really good quality so you can just unplug that and you can plug in this plug and that obviously connects direct to your battery so you can leave if you've got a particular battery you want to maintain because this is fully adjustable you can drop it down to one amp that sort of thing um, so if you want to leave it on for a maintenance thing at this stage I believe that would be okay so we're just going to quickly go in remembering the TB6000 Pro has got Pro mode. I don't know if we're going to get into that one in this video. That could be in the next video. So subscribe, turn the bell on as we learn more about it and how to use it. Um, I'm certainly not a pro on battery charging at this stage. I know a bit about batteries, a fair bit maybe. I'm sure there's people know more than me and same thing with charging and that sort of thing. So basically you download the app. Now you've got a couple of options here you can go to. Obviously you've got, let's go to testing options first. So you can do a battery test. You can do a charging test, that's obviously going to look at your alternator rate and that sort of thing, and cranking test. So your main battery test would be this one. So blah, 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 you know, you go in and um, we'll leave the remind me thing there again anyway. So we'll just press next, just to have a look. So you put your battery type just to show you what your options are. So let's just go AGM spiral, um, that's the battery we've got there. The problem we've got is this isn't going to be accurate because at the moment I believe it's still connected to the the uh, the battery, the uh, regular flooded battery, the cranking battery in the vehicle. So this isn't about accuracy of charging or selecting the right thing or whatever. I'm just giving you an idea what's available. So you've got your flat plate or your spiral there and your other batteries as well. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go AGM spiral, battery standard and CCA for us. Uh, it's a 750, but we know it's connected to the other one. We're just going to do this next testing. There you go, right? So... Let's just see what it says just for a laugh anyway. All good. So it says good condition. Look, that battery's got a date of 2016. So it's only six years old. It's been absolutely thrashed. But, you know, I'm not going to try and prove a point with Optimus here because it's connected to another battery and uh, this test doesn't really mean too much. There you go. You can save it, share it. There's an app for that, you know, the online stuff. Really cool. So let's get back out of there and just go and check out. Let's not waste too much time. Like I said, we'll make this a short one. So you've got... Um, quick charging, let's go into quick charging first, have a play around, um, so you can set a time that you want the charging to stop and start, say you've got solar on your roof or something like that, and you want it to come on each day at, you know, 10am till 4pm, you know, your best solar time so that you're using free charge. So you can find these on Kickstarter, have a Google search for the Top Don TB6000 Pro, you'll probably find it. it's on Kickstarter, it's a new, it's a new product, right, so... Uh, probably eventually it'll be released um, even further and you'll be able to buy it other places So it's up to you if you just want to keep finding the videos and gather your information or whether you want to get in there and buy one for only you know, 60 bucks AUD for a charger test they're very cheap at this stage and from what I can see good quality So like I said, you can set the time You can select your different batteries. You know, I said you can use it as a power supply um, just from a bit of a brief overview I could be wrong but by Sending it 12 volt supply, I understand that's what it is. And I think from memory it was up to about, I could be wrong, three and a half amps, something like that. So you need to check your information. I'll have a longer video or longer videos with this, but we'll try and be quick here. Just uh, we'll leave it 12 volt, six amp normal, because obviously that seems to be the maximum, six amps. So you've got repair, supply. So if you've got a smaller battery, 12 volt, three amp, 
you got your lithium, blah, 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 whatever anyway. So add modes, so manual modes. So you can add you can add in modes, whatever the case may be. Like I said, we're not gonna uh, do that at this stage, or you can just hit start charging, which we're not gonna do, because I wanna go into the smart charging. Without going into, look, we'll quickly, quickly have a look, and then we'll take a step back. Um, we press manual mode. Uh, where's this button for, you know, I've gotta find. Uh, okay, so yeah, if you go down and you go manual mode, right, manual mode, actually that's where it goes to the next page where you can put in your own modes, which I've done a few of those, right? We're gonna have a look at those in a minute. But you can see here, so you put in the name, what type of battery it is, you can have a set your appointment time for that mode. And of course you can set your maximum current and maximum voltage, those two there. And here, let's just have a quick look at expert mode. Look, we'll just turn it on for a minute. And there's all these other parameters you can go through. I'm just not gonna adjust anything here. Like I said, we're gonna try and keep it short, but I'm gonna keep it simple as well, as much as I can. But just so all the pros, all the experts can have a look and see what it can do. Voltage, current, and then you've got all these other step two, to what you want it to do in step two, step, what you want it to do in step three, step four, right? Step six, and it's all, adjust, all fully adjustable, right? So there you go, right? And all these fancy. So anyway, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn export, expert mode off because let's just say I'm not an expert yet confirm right so we go back here to uh, um, where was I um, hang on no I don't want to add a mode so yeah, it was back another step so I've already got I've already got some saved um, oh no so they must save per device and I was using another phone yes so I've got a number of phones here right you know and I was using uh, another so okay what we're gonna do we're gonna add, so you can obviously just use this, bang and hit start charging, make your adjustments, or you can go manual mode, okay? There's no mode, so you press add mode. Name, let's go, let's call it two batteries. Because that's what I do guys, I talk to the phone, I haven't got time to type. Right, so you, then you put your battery type. The problem we got is we've got a mix. We've got a lead acid battery. Well, they're, ba they're lead acid battery, so we'll leave it at that. Okay, um, confirm. Oh, hang on, as I meant to. Oh, hang on. So how do, this will be an interesting one. I haven't worked out yet how to edit the mode. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna go like that to select that mode to show you, right? And then we arrow back, Oop, back. <clears throat> okay, two batteries, bada bing, start charging, right? So. We're just gonna fire it up just to give you a quick demo before we wrap it up. So like I said, it's a new product, it's on Kickstarter. I might be able to put the link in the description. I'm not telling you to buy one or not to buy one. I'm just telling you what I see so far. It does look like quality. I think it's value for money. I think uh, being a charger, a tester and a power supply, um, check out obviously the uh, stats on that, whether it suits your needs, but you can't really go wrong for that sort of money. I've got two other chargers, the little projector maintenance charger, 1600 milliamps mounted in the two Prados for the maintenance so they just stay plugged in when they're not in use if fridges are on and at least every now and then to top up that battery because the best way to keep a battery this is in a battery video we've got a playlist on that check out our YouTube channels playlists if you want the info but there's battery information playlists the best way to keep a battery is fully charged that's why we have those maintenance charges on board but the problem is if I've run those batteries down, let's just say there's no sun, so I've got no solar, I haven't been driving the car, and I say I'll, I'll get to a somewhere where there's a plug, I've only got 1.6 milliamps, right? Where this charger here, for the same money, about 60 bucks, all those projectors, they've even gone up, they're even dearer. I mean, they retail over 100, but they're only worth about 60, 70 in Bunnings. This thing, though, fully adjustable, and it's a tester, right? So you can test your battery, and you can... Uh, you know, you can ramp it up to six if you want. So you can see what's happening there. We can have a look at the the power or the uh, voltage, right? You've got some graphs there showing you what's going on, what it's doing, telling you the battery level as well, which may or may not be right because we haven't necessarily put in the right information. We're just doing a quick demo, trying to show you this product quickly. I'll say it again, from what I see, it looks like quality. I think it's value for money. It's a charger and tester, and I believe a power supply. Um, there's obviously you can spend some time on working out exactly how to use it and what it can do for you but I think you can't go wrong but if you're not sure give it some more time we'll do some more videos we're going to keep playing with it we're going to keep using it we're going to pump it we're going to connect it on heaps of different batteries vehicles and we're going to pump it we're going to learn about it see what it can do and we'll provide that information for you later thanks for what thanks for watching 
right? If you want to know more about, you know, this sort of stuff every now and then, or maybe quite regularly, we get manufacturers, suppliers providing products, and you know I'm only going to tell you the truth. There's no cash that comes with it. There's no cash for comment. If I don't like it, I'm not going to do a video on it. I'm going to talk to them about it, send it back to them. They need to make changes. You won't hear from me about it. If it's something that I see, as you can tell, I'm telling you now, I'm not saying, this is great, go get one of these. This is I'm telling you, I've just started using it. They've provided it for testing and evaluation and so that I can tell you what I know about it. That's what I've done. I'm not going to tell you anything that's not true. No cash for comment here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, turn the bell on, hit the like button, whatever you want to do and catch you on the next one, guys. See ya. For those people that hung around and they want more, I've got about another minute for you. Okay, so we've just gone out of that charging. We've just gone into quick charging and basically hit the go button, right? So boof, it's straight in there. And of course, we've got different settings what you program in here so that's based on what you're going to get as a result for the battery you know the battery level that sort of thing if you tell it it's a 500 and it's much bigger it's going to think it's full when it's not and all that sort of thing so it is important you put the accurate information there like any smart charger okay bit of workshop information for those people that don't know we do supply some parts kits injector kits Mondays closed okay very soon September we are closed the first Monday, Tuesday in September, we can help you out. Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Monday's injector kits, Tuesday's normally suspension. Let's knock it off, let's get that one in, done in August if we can. We've got the last Tuesday in August still available. Then you need to wait till the start of October, the first Tuesday in October, please. Injector kits, Mondays, we can do the next two Mondays. The last one in August, the first one in September. Then we're on holidays. We've got heaps of maintenance. We've got to replenish stock tools, fix things up, and have a bit of a break, have a bit of a holiday maybe as well if we get time. We'll be back on deck early October. First thing, when school goes back, Melbourne. We always take uh, Melbourne school holidays as holidays. Spend time with the family. Should be a priority for you as well. Um, uh, Wednesday is the front wheel bearings and the BFE kits. So we can help you out with that one more week, I think. Um, Monday, the last, uh, uh, Wednesday, the last one in August. Perhaps, you know, on Monday, the first one in September. But that'll be it. Like, we're going to try and wrap it up ASAP. There's lots of loose ends, jobs to finish, kits to pack. We need to get it all sorted ASAP. So, if I'm really asking for what I want, it's August, please, guys. August. Knock us. August. Let's get it knocked off. Let's get it done in August. And then wait till October if we can for the most part. Obviously, if you missed this message and all the many other messages throughout our YouTube channels on our Facebook groups, if you're in Australia for parts. Um, and of course, this is not a, uh, th there's a text message service, a phone number there for text messages to order parts and to book into the Prado Hospital, purposely covered up until this point. It doesn't ring. It's not a phone. It's a text message service. I'll answer the text messages during school hours. Please don't contact me after Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday mornings because we're busy getting the rest of the aspects of the business completed. Um, all the messages are here, like we don't use Messenger, okay? Bum, bum, bada, bing, bada. You've had your chance to read all that. Thanks for watching, guys. And I said another minute. It's two and a half minutes. Anyway, important information. Trying to help you, help me, help you, help me, help you. We'll try and help you in the end. Thanks for watching. See ya.